welcome to this news video. I am the Ninjaneer, and the topics for today will be as follows. Aptera shows a close-up of their battery pack. Telosiv has been hired. First Telo Trucks video. Tablecloth trick. And Atlas. A movie featuring Aptera, which is most of the reason why I care about it. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Among the many things that Aptera put in their update video, they have a sort of update when it comes to their battery pack, and they showed a close-up of their battery pack with the laser welds done. Uh, after they posted this picture, I noticed that the welds looked very strange compared to what I'm used to seeing, so it kind of got me curious as to what laser welding actually was. So I looked into it and... Uh, Mainly I got the uh, disadvantages, the uh, interesting qualities, the materials that are good for it, and uh, yeah, we're kind of, we're going to kind of, kind of, yeah. we're going to kind of go ahead and get into that. So, um, apparently humidity affects laser welding, so you need uh, fairly controlled conditions. Um, process can be significantly impacted by environmental factors like temperature and humidity. Uh, high temperatures have the potential to degrade the quality of the weld by causing thermal distortion and affecting the material's properties. So long story short, uh, temperature and uh, moisture are two very big deals when it comes to laser welding, which is not entirely inaccurate when it comes to regular welding as well. Um, yeah, it's just a different way to weld, a cooler sounding way of welding if you ask me, uh, but there is a lot of other things about it. Uh, challenges associated with laser welding, um, you have to pick a good material. Uh, materials that aren't highly reflective um, or difficult to weld, um, things like that. So it says some materials such as highly reflective materials are difficult to weld with lasers because light naturally reflects away from their surfaces. So you can't pick like I don't know, like a, a mirror. You can't weld mirrors. Well, you could weld a mirror, but it would be a very slow and or very janky process. I'm not sure why you would ever want to do that, but reflective surfaces are basically a bad idea. Uh, you have to prepare the joint properly. Um, for a successful weld, the joint surfaces must be free of contaminants. Uh, you have to have process control. Laser welding is highly automated and maintaining tight process control is essential. So you have to be very precise in what you are doing and how you uh, set up the pieces for the laser weld, which is why most of the time machines are setting up the things to weld as well as the uh, welder itself being controlled by a um, robot. So, safety. Uh, this is the same thing as with regular welding, in my opinion. Uh, there are safety risks that have to be controlled. The, the light and heat can cause eye and skin damage. Uh, proper eye protection must be in place. Same as regular welding. Uh, cost. The initial cost of equipment for laser welding can be high, making it less accessible to smaller businesses or operations. Um, that is less true now than it was maybe 10 years ago or so, but it is still a very expensive uh, piece of uh, equipment or there are very expensive pieces of equipment that have to be purchased in order to get that to work properly. After I thought about it for a while, I said to myself, Self, I wonder what in the world Aptera picked for the material if it wasn't, uh, you know, something crazy like adamantium or something. I don't know. I was like, okay, let me go ahead and look into this. And so the best laser welded materials were stainless steel, titanium, nickel, aluminum, uh, molly, that one, and Inconel. I know that uh, all of these materials are good for welding, but not necessarily all of them are good for putting into applications with a lot of shaking and rigidity uh, uh, requirements. And so I said to myself, hmm, are there materials that are uh, rigid, uh, easy to laser well, and are conductive enough to uh, justify the uh, current flowing through it? And so with those three criterion, I found that aluminum and copper um, are really good for those applications. So... <clears throat> 
I am guessing that because of the color of the top of this material that they've uh, chosen for this laser weld, I am assuming that it's going to be a aluminum type weld because copper is a very different color and a lot more expensive. All right, Telosive has been hired by Tello Trucks. Uh, Tello Trucks is a company that is known for uh, being a really interesting startup, or at least I know them as a very interesting startup for the truck world because they are going to make a truck that is tiny, like uh, Mini Cooper levels of length, but also has all of the function and utility of the gigantic F-150s, 250s, 550s, all the 50s. Um, and uh, other trucks out there. So it's going to be just as functional, but almost half the size. Um, that is very cool and very interesting to me personally. Uh, so it was really cool to me when I saw the video where Talos have announced that he was going to be working for them uh, on the media front. I was kind of ignoring or trying to avoid talking about Tello Trucks for a while because I know that he's got that covered. Uh, but now that he is working with Tello Trucks, I can um, uh, feel more comfortable with sharing the information because he said that he's going to be doing less sharing of information because uh, if, you're, if you're in the video working for them and then you immediately put the video uh, or report about the video on your channel, it, it feels a little redundant. So he's going to be focusing more on working with Tello Trucks and I'm going to go ahead and uh, talk more about Tello Trucks because I love the company. It is literally the only truck that I said to myself, self, if this comes out, I need it. And so um, it'll be a functional vehicle that I would want to get for uh, any application where I'm moving something or what have you. This is going to be the working version, the work vehicle for me and Aptera is going to be the fun vehicle. So. Uh, if Tello Trucks makes it to production, my ideal garage has changed. It will be a, an Aptera on one side and a Tello truck on the other. Uh, we'll see how that goes, but it's good to see that uh, he is working with them to produce videos to help them get their message out because they are really a groundbreaking company and I cannot wait to see what they do. Speaking of videos, uh, Tello Trucks released their first video featuring uh, the coolest Talos of EV uh, channel of all time. Uh, yeah, so he's in this video. Uh, he produced the video. You can tell by some of the cues that happened during the video and it's really cool and fun. Um, yeah, so the video is interesting. It talks about some of the engineering and uh, crumple zones and things like that for the Tello truck. Um, it is a good eye opener for people that were concerned with safety because that truck is a very small footprint and uh, the crumple zone theoretically is uh, smaller than what some people would expect so they do a lot of uh, talking about that aspect to make sure that people understand that the crumple zone is uh, good for what they are trying to do with their vehicle so they do a, a fancy over the top explain everything in detail version which was the version that I liked the best but they also did a really uh, base level how do we how do we understand this uh, situation as well uh, yeah it was a very comprehensive video it was one that I enjoyed very much and uh, yeah you guys should check it out all right and now for the video that broke the Aptera community um, just seeing this thing pull a tablecloth from under a couple of uh, food items on the table was uh, pretty awesome uh, I knew that theoretically they could do this, but just to see it in action is really uh, neat and fun. So yeah, it shows that their acceleration is the real deal even before they get to their production spec because as far as this is concerned, this vehicle is not done, but at the same time it is fast enough to make most other vehicles on the road today uh, kind of jealous if you ask me it's like it's oh okay you can do the you can do that trick oh I, I can I can do that too but yeah anyway long story short fantastic video there as well just showing the capabilities of the Aptera uh, even before it reaches full production all right last but not least we have a uh, 
an announcement in what is not necessarily car news, it's more of a movie situation, but Aptera was in it, so now it becomes a car thing. So Atlas is a movie that came out a very short amount of time ago, like yesterday, or maybe the day before yesterday as the recording of this video, and it features a really, really strong cast. Like, I looked at all of the folks in the movie, I'm like, dude, what, what, how did I not hear about this through anything but Aptera? Uh, Aptera posted a, a, uh, several posts and talking about how they were going to be featured in this movie, and um, I found myself really willing to watch it, um, because Aptera was going to be in it, but then I looked at the cast, and I'm like, the cast is really solid. Um, it's kind of sad, though, that it was not well received, uh, anywhere, um, by anyone, uh, in particular. I might watch it just because I'm curious to see what this movie is about, but, yeah, it seems as if the movie itself is not as good as the vehicles that they chose to be in it. Who knows, man. Anyway, um, yeah, that'll be about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am the engineer. If you'd like to like and or subscribe, please do that by clicking on the links in the video. Uh, do the other YouTubey things, uh, so, uh, subscribe and, and, and like and, and all that. Just, yeah, do the YouTubey things. Thank you so much for taking the time out for the day to um, watch this video in its entirety. I'm going to put out the video that I was talking about last week, uh, sorry, the week before last, this week. Uh, I took a long time editing it. Oh, wait. <laughs> I took a long time editing, 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 editing. I took a long time editing it because I was going to have a lot of uh, little transitions and pieces and video clips and stuff in there. Um, the way that I compiled it apparently broke the video, so I couldn't release it last week. What I plan on doing is taking out all the fancy McGubbins and uh, keeping it simple. Uh, this is why I need an editor, by the way, because I have no idea how all of the cool things that I was doing got messed up. I've been playing around in this application, trying to get the best of it, um, and trying to figure out how to edit things in a more, I guess, flashy is the word that I would use, but not flashy. Like, it's more uh, informative, like charts and graphs and stuff, and uh, charts had little cool spiral ends and stuff like that. Yeah, there were there were things that I have to cut out of this video uh, that's coming up this week because it uh, it did not it did not pan out. But yeah, uh, again, thank you guys for watching. Do the YouTube things. I'll catch you guys next time.